What's up guys and welcome to the channel. What if I told you that your next app could go from idea to launch in under one hour without writing a single line of code? That's the dream that's being sold right now by tools like Lovable, V0, and Cursor. Just describe what you want and boom, the AI builds it for you. But here's the catch. In the rush to build faster, we're skipping the fundamentals and people are getting burned. Today, we're talking about the dark side of vibe coding, what it is, real world horror stories, how to use these tools responsibly, and why no code definitely doesn't mean no problems. In this video, we're going to cover first what vibe coding actually is, then we'll walk through a couple of real life examples where things went wrong for people, we'll break down the most common security issues we're seeing with these AI generated apps, and after that, we'll talk about when these tools actually make sense to use and how to protect yourself if you are using them. And finally, we'll wrap it up with a few key takeaways to help you build smarter along the way. All right, so what even is vibe coding? It's this trend where you use tools like Lovable, V0, or Cursor to build software just by typing prompts. No manual coding at all. The AI simply generates the app for you honestly pretty amazing for getting ideas out quickly and lowering the barriers to entry for non-coders. You can go from an idea in your head to something live on the web in a matter of minutes. One of the most well-known examples came from a guy named Leo. He tweeted proudly that he launched a SaaS using only AI and people were actually paying for it. My SaaS was built with cursor, zero handwritten code, people pay for it, he said. Sounds like a dream, right? But. Just a few days later, things went sideways. Leo tweeted, guys, I'm under attack. Maxed out API keys. People bypassing subscriptions. I don't know how to fix it. Someone found vulnerabilities in the app. His API keys were maxed out. Users were bypassing the paywall and junk data flooded his database. And Leo, he admitted he wasn't technical. He didn't know how to fix it. These kinds of attacks aren't rare. In fact, some folks on Reddit are bragging about it. They're specifically targeting AI generated apps because they know these apps often skip basic security practices. One attacker even wrote, I have the upper hand, get owned coders. If that doesn't make your skin crawl, it should. Here's the most common issues we're seeing in apps built with vibe coding tools. First, developers often leave API keys exposed directly in the code. There's usually no input validations which opens the door to things like SQL injection or XSS attacks. Some of these apps lack proper authentication or use weak DIY solutions. Core settings are often wide open, allowing requests from anywhere. On top of that, stack traces and debug messages are exposed in production. And shockingly, some apps don't even use HTTPS. But to be fair, vibe coding tools do have their place. In fact, they're incredible when used in the right context. They're perfect for quickly spinning up a marketing page or a static page, internal dashboards and tools that aren't exposed to the public. They're a great fit for that. If you're building a prototype or MVP and you're not handling sensitive data yet, vibe coding can help you test and iterate quickly. And of course, for personal side projects or hobby experiments, it's a game changer. But once you start collecting user data or charging money, you need to slow down and take security seriously. So if you're building with AI tools, here are some simple but essential things you need to do to protect your build. Always store your API keys and secrets in a .env file, never hard code them. Use strong encryption like bcrypt for passwords or sensitive data. Sanitize every piece of user input to prevent injection attacks. Lock down your core settings to allow only trusted origins. Implement rate limiting to prevent abuse. Don't try to build your own authentication from scratch. Instead, use a battle-tested service like Firebase, Clerk, OAuth, or other providers. In production, strip out stack traces and internal logs that might reveal vulnerabilities. And yes, always use HTTPS, no exceptions. Leo eventually admitted, I actually tried my best. We'll be digging more into security and learning to code, learning the hard way. 
He could have stopped at AI will do it for me, but now he's learning the hard stuff because he had to. Here's the bottom line. These tools are amazing. They're opening doors for people who never thought they could build software, but they don't eliminate responsibility yet. If you want to build fast, awesome, but build smart too, because no matter how cool your app is, if it gets breached, none of that matters. Have you been building with AI tools? Drop your experience in the comments below and share a lesson you learned along the way. Like and subscribe for more on building smarter with no code and AI. Let's keep building, but let's do it securely. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.